There's nothing better than a good burger. Well, today I'm gonna to make a healthy version using turkey, and I'm gonna show you how I make mine extra juicy. Hey guys, today we're making my delicious and juicy turkey burgers and we're going to top it with feta and sauteed spinach. So first to get started, my trick to making them juicy is we're grating one small Spanish onion. So this basically liquefies the onion and I'm going to definitely start to cry any second. Woo! That sulfur in the onion really gets you but there's tons of sugar and there's lots of moisture when you grate the onion and it liquefies it so that way you don't get a harsh onion flavor. We have one pound of ground turkey, our grated onion, salt and pepper. Okay, now to form the burgers. So you just want equal portions, that way they all grill and cook evenly. So I like to just make a big round ball score it down the center and then score it again so we have four equal parts and then just form the patties so obviously turkey it's a little bit more wet you have less fat that's okay just form them once they hit that heat they will tighten up all right last burger so one pound will make four burgers quarter pounders just healthier I haven't had a quarter pounder in, since I was in high school, I think. So a little bit of canola oil, so our ground turkey doesn't have much fat. We have to add a little bit of fat before it hits the heat, so that way it doesn't stick. And you want to also oil your grill pan. So you just wanna cook them just through. You don't want to overcook it. Once you overcook it, that's when the turkey burgers get really dry. So what happens when we're grilling here, all that onion that we grated and added into it, it will baste the burger, keeping it nice and moist. And we're not going to overcook it. That way it stays moist. So our turkey burgers look delicious. About four minutes on each side. I'm going to take them off and let them rest for about eight minutes. And while they're resting, I'm gonna saute the spinach. So you want one clove of garlic. So again, this adds a lot of moisture to our burger. Think about how much moisture is in spinach. So we're gonna to top that on the burger along with some creamy Greek feta. There is no need for any condiments for this burger. You're gonna love it. All right, so all I have to do is mince my garlic, saute my spinach, and then toast the buns. I am using brioche uh, hamburger buns. You could use whatever buns you love, your favorite hamburger bun. I kind of like the brioche. It has a little eggy flavor. So I have about six ounces of spinach. So baby spinach, you can just buy one bag, that'll do it. And this happens super quick. So we have a ton in the skillet, but it's gonna wilt down. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now for the buns. So you just wanna brush them with a little bit of canola oil. I love to toast the buns, I love that texture. My daughter Isabella, she likes just a regular bun, but I'm gonna to toast mine today. I'll keep hers not toasted. Before we build our burger, so I have this block of delicious creamy feta. So you wanna get it in the block. It's gonna be more moist, it's gonna be nice and creamy versus just buying it already crumbled. And you can just crumble it yourself. You can make the size crumbles that you want. I kinda of like them a little big. All right. You just wanna top it right on top. Now I'm gonna make my burger. So right on top, our sauteed garlicky spinach, mound it right on top. So this is moisture plus moisture plus moisture. This is not a dry turkey burger. This baby is so good. Okay, 
and more feta on top. Come on, look at that. How about this at your next barbecue? I'm not going in for the big honking bite. I'm gonna be a lady. <laughs> Take a bite. Oh, look at that. Look how juicy that is. Super juicy. Mmm, this burger is so good. I hope you'll try it. Head over to the newspaper's website, make this recipe for your Memorial Day barbecue. I'm Shereen McCook this. Thanks for joining me today.